Welcome to the Broward College Dental Department Virtual Information Session. What is a dental assistant? A dental assistant is an oral healthcare professional who is part of the dental team and works directly with the dentist. The dental assistant performs a variety of duties, including preparing the operatory for procedures, preparing the patient for treatment, assisting the dentist during procedures, exposing and processing x-rays, completing lab tasks and ordering supplies, and assisting in administrative duties, such as scheduling, billing, and payments. The Broward College Dental Program is a unique one plus one. First, a student completes the 12 month dental assisting program and successfully completes the Dan B National Certification Exam, earning their CDA. Next, students must complete 30 general education credits. Lastly, students apply to the 12 month dental hygiene program, earning their Associates of Science degree. Successful completion of the dental hygiene program allows a student to sit for licensing examinations and earn the certified dental hygienist credential. A student cannot get to the Broward College dental hygiene program without first completing a Florida COTA accredited dental assisting program and be within three years of graduation. The dental assisting program is a 12 month program and upon completion, students are awarded an applied technical diploma. In June, during the final semester, students will need to take the Dental Assisting National Board Dan B exam. The program is 50 college credits, and these 50 credits can be applied to an Associates of Science degree in Dental Assisting. The Dental Assisting program is not a part-time program. This is a full-time, daytime accelerated program. Classes can run between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. five days a week, which does not include the study time required to be successful. Externships may have different hours and may extend beyond 5 p.m. It is very difficult to work and be successful in the dental assisting program as significant studying is required. Even a part-time job can make it very difficult to carve out enough study time. You will need to work with your support system and plan appropriately to be successful. The admission requirements to enter the dental assisting program include completion of the HESI test with a 75 in reading and a 50 in math, completion of ENC 1101 English composition, completion of a speech course, typically either SPC 1017 or SPC 1608. And finally, completion and submission of an online limited access application. The HESI scores and all coursework must be completed before submitting your application. HESI stands for Health Education Systems Inc. Admissions Assessment, which tests to see if you have the cognitive skills and knowledge you need to succeed in a healthcare education program. The Broward College Dental Program requires minimum test scores of 75 in reading comprehension and 50 in the math section of the test. Both the reading comprehension section and the math section have 55 questions each. The Broward College HESI testing information can be found by scanning the QR code on your screen. If you do not pass both sections on your first attempt, you are required to retake only the section that you missed. Effective June 28, 2022, there's no limit on test attempts and no waiting period between attempts. However, tutoring and assistance is strongly recommended for best results. The test prep resources are available on the HESI testing webpage. The Dental Assisting National Board must be taken prior to graduation. It's usually in the month of June and costs approximately $450. It is a three-part examination, which encompasses all materials covered in the program. The main three topics include radiography, infection control, and general chairside. What is a dental hygienist? A dental hygienist is a licensed healthcare professional 
who works independently as part of a dental office team. A dental hygienist duties include oral health education, removing tooth deposits, nutritional counseling, exposing and processing x-rays, applying preventive materials to the teeth, and providing oral hygiene instructions. The following are dental hygiene program competencies as per the CODA accreditation standards. Graduates must be competent in assessing the treatment needs and providing dental hygiene care for a diversity of patient types, including children, adolescents, adults, geriatric, and special needs patients. Graduates must be competent in assessing oral health, analyzing assessment findings, establishing a care plan for optimal health, providing patient-centered treatment and evidence-based care, assessing goal accomplishment and accurately recording all documentation of patient care. Graduates must be competent in providing dental hygiene care for all periodontal classifications from gingivitis to severe periodontal disease. Graduates must be competent in interpersonal and communication skills to effectively interact with diverse population groups and other members of the healthcare team. Graduates must also be competent in assessing, planning, implementing, and evaluating the effectiveness of community-based oral health and disease prevention programs. Additionally, Graduates must be competent in providing appropriate support measures for medical emergencies that may be encountered in a dental hygiene practice. Graduates must be competent in the application of the principles of ethical reasoning, ethical decision-making and professional responsibility as they pertain to the academic environment, research, patient care and practice management. Graduates must be competent in applying legal and regulatory concepts to the provision and or support of oral care services. Graduates must be competent in the application of self-assessment skills to prepare them for lifelong learning. They must be competent in the evaluation of current scientific literature. And graduates must be competent in problem-solving strategies related to comprehensive patient care and management of patients. You'll learn more about these from your instructors in the dental hygiene coursework. In addition to the English composition and speech coursework, Students must also have completed the following general education courses. Chemistry for Health Sciences, which is a prerequisite to microbiology and lab, the microbiology and lab course, a general education math course, a core humanities with writing credit, and a social behavioral science and Florida civic literacy requirement. If you believe that you have completed the equivalent of these courses at a prior college, please be prepared to provide a copy of the syllabus from the term that you completed the course to your assigned advisor. It is strongly advised that students work with their assigned advisor to determine their application eligibility before submitting your application. Effective fall 2022 and beyond, students who plan to graduate from the AS dental hygiene degree must demonstrate competency in civic literacy by successfully completing a specified course or examination. The two course options are available for students to meet this requirement, and they include AMH 2020, or History of the U.S. since 1877, or POS 2041, which is a national government course. Students must complete either of these courses with a passing grade of C or better. These courses are designed to prepare you for success on the Florida Civic Literacy exam. If you have already completed one of these two courses, then you will only need to sit and pass the Florida Civic Literacy exam to satisfy this requirement. Several testing options are available to students to meet this requirement. However, the Florida Civic Literacy exam option can only be taken locally in a campus testing and assessment center. If you choose to take the CLEP American Government exam, you will need to request that your scores be sent from the College Board to the Broward College Registrar's Office to satisfy both the course and the assessment for graduation. Effective fall 2022 and beyond, students who plan to graduate from any of the degree programs here at Broward College must demonstrate competency in digital literacy by successfully completing a specified course or examination. The course options available for students to meet this requirement include 
CGS 1060C or higher with a passing grade of C or better. If you have already completed a related course, please speak with your assigned advisor to determine if you've already satisfied this requirement. Students can also take the CSP or CLEP exam to satisfy this requirement. However, the CSP option can only be taken locally at a campus testing and assessment center. If you choose to take the CLEP information systems exam, you will need to request that your scores be sent to the Broward College Registrar's Office to satisfy both the course and the assessment for graduation. Here's a sample plan to complete your AS Dental Hygiene prerequisite courses under the Navigator Pre-Dental Hygiene 2135E program. It is strongly advised that you work with your assigned advisor to customize a plan that works to support your success in these courses. To apply to the dental hygiene program, first, a prospective student must have graduated within the last three years from a Florida COTA accredited program and ensure that all prior transcripts have been submitted to the Broward College Registrar's Office. The QR code shown will take you directly to the Broward College Registrar's Office for submission. Then, students must complete a Broward College general application and choose 2135E, the Health Science Navigator Pre-Dental Hygiene Program. Lastly, during their application window, students should complete the Health Science Limited Access application or the Dental Hygiene Program online. The application window opens from April 30th through June 30th each year, and a non-refundable application fee of $20 applies. Prior to graduating from the dental hygiene program, students must take the National Board of Dental Hygiene exam. It is a comprehensive exam covering all material taught in dental assisting, as well as the dental hygiene material. The national exam costs approximately $490. Additionally, a three-part state exam is also required. This includes Florida rules and laws, as well as a computer simulated mannequin examination. It is an expensive exam costing $1,100 and your finances should be planned in advance. 36 students are admitted to the dental assisting program. 20 students are admitted to the dental hygiene program. The dental assisting program begins each June or in the summer, and the dental hygiene program begins each August or the fall. Both dental assistants and dental hygienists are at risk of contracting communicable diseases. There is a significant exposure to blood and saliva. Patients may have HIV, AIDS, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, and or COVID-19. Students are provided all necessary protective gear, including masks, gloves, glasses, and gowns. However, you must understand the risk involved in being a healthcare provider and determine if this is a risk you are willing to take. It is very important to know in advance how you will pay for the program. The in-state tuition, supplies, and fees for dental assisting are approximately $9,000. The in-state tuition, supplies, and fees for dental hygiene are approximately $18,000. Please fill out your FAFSA form early to know if you have enough financial aid coverage for the full program. You can also consider using the Broward College Tuition Payment Plan. You should also always fill out scholarship applications even if you're not sure that you will be eligible. If you are not eligible for financial aid and you live in Broward County, you may want to contact Career Source Broward. Career Source Broward is a community resource that will only cover one program per student and often includes instruments, uniforms, and exam fees. At the end of both the dental assisting and the dental hygiene program, students are assigned to community off-campus externship rotations. Students are responsible for their own transportation and the hours may be different and extend longer than normal class hours. Dental assisting students spend 14 weeks in externship rotations in private dental offices throughout the Tri-County area. 
dental hygiene students see patients in the Veterans Administration Clinic, the Genesis Clinic, and at Nova Southeastern University School of Dental Medicine. Dental assisting admits 36 students per year, but dental hygiene admits only 20 students. So it stands to reason that not every student that completes dental assisting will be directly admitted into the dental hygiene program. Admission to both programs is based on your GPA and grades in your required courses. If you have earned even one C grade in all of the admission required courses, it can impact your ability to progress into the dental hygiene program. If your plan is to go from dental assisting into dental hygiene, you will need to work your hardest and keep your grades up. If there's a question regarding your chances, please reach out to your assigned advisor for guidance. After admission, you will be required to complete the American Heart Association Basic Life Support for Healthcare Providers with Defibrillation. You will also be required to attend a pre-admission session where you will receive clear direction on submitting your proof of completed drug and background screening, as well as any vaccinations. Both dental assistant and dental hygiene students first train on mannequins. Then, when proficiency progresses, students work on each other. You must be okay with sitting in the chair for a student partner. This can also mean sitting as a patient for local anesthesia training. After students practice on each other, students can then work on outside patients for the remainder of the program. Dental hygiene students are requested to help solicit patients as backups to avoid empty chairs and loss of practice time. Here are the admission highlights for the dental programs at Broward College. Your first step is to complete the Dental Assisting Diploma Program. This is a full-time, daytime, 12-month program that accepts 36 students each summer. Graduation from the Dental Assisting Diploma will make you eligible to apply to either the AS Dental Hygiene or the AS in Dental Assisting. The AS Dental Hygiene is a full-time, daytime, 12-month program that accepts 20 students each fall. Students must have graduated from a Florida COTA accredited program within the last three years and have completed the prerequisite general education courses. The AS Dental Assisting is an open enrollment program where accepted students must complete the required general education courses to graduate. Students must also have graduated from a Florida COTA accredited program However, the three-year graduation timeframe does not apply. We've covered a lot today, but if you still have questions, you can scan the QR code shown to view our six-step health science admissions process and updated frequently asked questions. You can also send an email with your Broward College student ID to healthscience at broward.edu. Thank you for choosing Broward College, and we look forward to celebrating your success.